Hey gardeners, Amy here with Garden Up. Today I'm going to be talking about this really fun weed right here, prickly lettuce or Lactuca cereola. So I've been letting these monstrosities grow in my side yard for a little bit too long, purely so I could shoot this video. My husband and neighbors are starting to question my sanity, so I thought it's time I better deal with these. So this fabulous weed right here is very closely related to the lettuce that we grow in our gardens, okay? It is called prickly lettuce. It is a lettuce. It is edible. It has other uses too, but I'm not really going to get into that because it's not my area of expertise. I am purely on the gardening side of things. So. But it is edible. It produces a milky sap called lacticarium. But the real identifying features of this weed are that it has deeply lobed lancelet or oblong leaves and a row of spines growing up the back margin. These are very sharp, pokey, stiff spines. You know, it's not quite as bad as a cactus or anything, but you certainly don't want to just grab it barehanded and not know what you're getting yourself into. They grow very tall. They can get anywhere from four to six feet tall, probably even higher if it's in really good conditions. And then it has a cluster of yellow flowers at the top. It's in the Asteraceae family, so it has a whole bunch of ray flowers, but no disc flowers on this one. And then when those flowers are done, they turn in to a little dandelion poof, much smaller than a dandelion, but it's still the poofs of seeds that fly. So that's how you identify this one, is the spines up the back midrib, milky sap and then the yellow flowers that turn into the flying seeds. Pretty straightforward if you <laughs> have ever seen it before you'll recognize it forever. It's native to Europe and Asia but it's naturalized just about everywhere so you chances are you've seen it before. So how do you get rid of it? Well luckily this one's not too bad. It reproduces very quickly by seed but as long as you get it before it goes to seed it's not going to be too much of a problem for you in your garden. The trick is to get the root. And this one has a tap root, but it's not terrible. Like, if you miss some of the root, it will come back from the root, but it's not terribly deep. So really, what you mostly need is a garden fork. So for a big established plant like this one, you're going to want a garden fork or a shovel. Something that can get deep down and get the whole root. Put your fork or your shovel close enough to loosen the soil next to the plant without severing the root itself. Work it down in there. And then pop. You will want gloves for this one. At least they're helpful anyway. That's it. Not much of a tap root on this one at all. I expected it to be a little longer, to be honest. If you don't have your gloves, there is usually an inch or two down at the base of the stem that doesn't have spines. So you can get this one without your gloves, but it's much more comfortable to uh, glove up and, and wear your protection for this. All right, so here's a cluster of several of them. And just loosen that soil, reach down and gently pull up the taproot. There we go. So here's where it was in the ground. There's the taproot right there. That's the whole thing. Not a big hairy deal. Of all the weeds we deal with, this is a pretty easy one. As long as it's not growing up through the cracks of a rock or something. I probably hit this one with a lawnmower once, which is why it has so many tops now. that's interesting about these is they do have a smell. It's a really unusual kind of unique odor, but it reminds me of hot summer days, probably because that's when these things are growing and smelling at their most pungent. I wouldn't have known that the smell comes from this though. It just smells like hot dust. <laughs> All right, if you don't have a garden fork on you, you can also use a hori hori. So I'll show you that next. All right, so if all you have is a garden claw or a hori hori, just stick it down close to where the root is. 
straight down and pull up. You might have to come at it from a couple different sides, but go all the way around. There you go. That's the whole route. Right there. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you'd like more weed content like this. And uh, hit the like button, leave a comment if you like, and I'll see you in the garden.